course, we're going to turn now to the kitchen because we have Chef Ryan. Of course, you've got this food right in front of my face, right? I haven't tried one of these yet. I know Tracy did. I know that they're delicious. And you're not you still done. got some time. You I know. Still, still, you know, we're not done yet. <laughs> You've got scallops for us, though. I do. Uh, people are always uh, a little bit, I think, intimidated to cook seafood. Yeah. And scallops are a good beginner dish. Well, especially scallops. I feel like that you can maybe, I don't. They can get a little rubbery over time. They can if you overcook them. Yeah. Yeah. But scallops are one of those dishes where you can do it all on the stovetop. You okay. don't have to like put it in the oven. Yeah. So it's in front of you the whole time. Okay. So you can kind of watch it cook, and. 80%, 70% of the cooking is going to take place just on that first sear side. Okay. So I'll kind of show you so let when we that, get close. Let that go. Just let it go. Just let it go. Yeah. Let it hang. Okay. And then I've got some uh, lime juice and soy sauce, okay. which I've heated up about 50 50 of that. And then I've got some brown butter here that's real nutty. I kind of just cooked it down until it took on some nutty characteristics. All right. We're going to emulsify that with my. Blender here. Add a little bit of whole butter as well. Okay. And this sauce is called at our restaurant Sauce Margaret because sauce about Margaret. three years ago my daughter Maggie was in the kitchen with me and she um, wanted to try it. So I uh, poured a little bit in a bowl and she was standing on like a like a dairy crate because yeah. she was you know two or three years old. Yeah. And she was eating it like soup. She just kept she eating it, it and much. eating it and eating it. Yeah. So it is became sauce of, Margaret. Is this one of those sauces that's so good you want to just like pour on everything and anything you see? Yes. Yes. <laughs> that's <laughs> that's exactly what it is. is. Yeah. Oh, oh yum. Yeah. It's like a nice caramely color too. Oh yeah. Oh that's so pretty. It's like like a little coffee color. Yeah. It's nice. Okay, so those are still going. They're still going. We're probably 60% of the way there. Okay. When you look at where the scallop touches the pan, you'll start to notice that it starts to separate a little bit when it's ready. Oh. You know, okay. like chicken will stick to your grill. Yes. It's because it's not ready to be pulled yet. Okay. The same same kind of idea here. If it sticks, it's not ready. If it doesn't stick, go for it. I don't know if I knew that. Did I? Did I know that? <laughs> I'm not sure if I knew that. Well, I feel like scallops can be a bit intimidating. I don't know how many people go to the grocery store and buy them to try them at home because oh, you're just afraid you're going to mess them up. They're pretty easy. Yeah, yeah I just mean, cook them right in front of you. are making it look really easy. Yeah. What's the biggest mistake that people make? Is it the constant, do they flip it? They just seem to leave it alone? I think people either undercook or overcook. Okay. I think that's probably the biggest thing. Yeah. And then I've got some uh, cooked off broccolini and a little bit of uh, cauliflower here. Okay. That's gonna be our veggies. I've got some smoked almonds. Ooh. We'll add that. Nice little crunch. A little bit of capers. Oh, I do love capers. They go great with scallops. My daughter's like, they look like peas. I'm like, they don't taste like peas. <laughs> They're really good. Uh, a little salt and pepper, a little chili flake, then some gremolata, which is just some gremolata. raw garlic, Ooh. and uh, parsley, and some, uh, some lemon zest and some orange zest. Okay. So we're gonna just kind of mix that. So you mix in that yeah. on the side or in the oh in the dish. In the dish there. In the dish. Yep. Scallops are getting close. We're gonna kind of mound that. And because I chopped it up real small, yeah. uh, it looks fancy, like you would have it's at a so restaurant. It's fancy. It's fancy all I of love a sudden. it. Yeah. Impress your guests, right? With little well, I don't think no effort, little effort. Put small food on big plates. Oh, okay. That's one of the secrets. Small food, big plates. There and you go. And you can see how yes. they're all perfectly caramelized. Yes. And they flipped really easy. You know, there was okay. no sticking at all. They were okay. just ready to roll. Now, since you've done that 60, 70, how long do they stay on the flip side? 20 seconds. Oh, okay. So we did so most long. of our cooking just like that. And you have this on a medium to high heat? As high as you want to go. Okay. I mean, that's the thing, too. If you're not comfortable, yeah. if you're cooking, if you're having a glass of wine, if you're talking to your spouse, yeah. cook it on low. Oh, yeah. If you're by yourself, you're in a hurry, okay. cook it on high. Okay. Yeah, cook at the... I like those rules. Yeah, cook at the uh, pace that you want to cook at, you know? You know what this would be really good for? Like a Valentine's Day that you could maybe do... I think scalps are kind of romantic. Yeah, totally. Okay. So we'll plate Yum. that. Got our spoon here. Get our sauce. Oh, yeah, that looks so good. Yeah. Sauce it's just Margaret. so pretty. 
Yeah. Sauce Margaret. I love it. This looks fantastic. Okay, let everybody know where we can find you, where we can contact you. What's the best way? Sure, at the restaurant, Late Harvest Kitchen. Uh, we're just directly east of the Fashion Mall up on 86th Street. There you go. Uh, check out our website okay. or just come on in. It's been such a pleasure. Thank you so much. Thank Appreciate you. Appreciate your time. Okay.